Welcome back to Sid Meier's Civilization VI, Greece as Pericles. We are continuing our march back to our Neapolis city so that we can upgrade our units and then go directly after Delhi because, as you can see here, India is getting closer to a science victory. Now, we got him just in time, so we should be able to form up our troops, build up some strength, and then make that push towards his city of Delhi because we can see that there's a space center right here. And that's what we're going to do in this next session. At least get close to it, guys. All right, so let's go ahead and just move you in. Let's we'll move all these units in that are available on the next turn. I'm kind of wondering if I shouldn't have made an airport because it would be nice to get some bombers over here, but the time it would make to... The time it would take to make the airport and then the bombers. Hindsight 2020, right? We're just going to move you as far as we can to get you out of the way. Same with you, although that's as far as you can go. We just pretty much want these guys in our territory. We're definitely going to want to change these guys to rocket artillery, period. I mean, there's just no way around that. And form them up into armies with these guys. Because we're going to need them to be as strong as possible. Our AT crews aren't going to be as powerful as they were earlier. So that's something we have to be aware of. Let's go ahead and see if we can't siphon some funds. And... Um, we got some trade routes being created right now as we speak. No, we're not releasing your spy. And we're not going to make any deals with you. Meanwhile, back home. Two more turns until we get this trade route. He's going to go straight to Athens. One more turn on Earth Satellite. Six more turns until we get our spaceport in Ephesus. And there goes our satellite along the shore. Very cool imagery. We are, we are actually just passing through. All right, and um, let's see. Where is Professional Army? Okay, let's see. Here it is. And we may as well just replace Merchants now. We haven't even gotten one, so let's just replace Merchants. Let's see if we have any opportunities for additional gold. Market Economy. We could do online communities. Yeah, science, I think we pretty much, you know, we have everything we want in science, so that's good. We'll go ahead and change that to tourism. But that's for trade routes. But that's fine. We'll do it with the trade routes. Or we could do 10% culture. That would be more, that would be better than, I'm sorry, hang on. That would be better than um, the influence for right now. That doesn't really do us any good, food and production. Actually, yeah, I think we're going to, we want the 10% the culture. And um, let's do it like this. There we go. That's better. All right. And we want the units and we want the uh, integrated space cell. Interesting name for that. All right, let's confirm that. Not going to do a whole lot of our gold. Yeah, we're still at 14, so. All right, Athens, we will go ahead and just focus squarely on space. So let's go ahead and do that. And do our moon landing. And we pretty much have researched everything. We'll just go ahead and grab telecommunications. And we're getting close to the end of our civics as well. So let's just 
slide that rascal all the way down and just go straight into globalization get those additional uh, culture turns let's take a quick peek at our culture yeah 92 pretty significant I mean it could be higher if we you know actually made some archaeologists and such that's something we could probably do instead of continuing to make units but we're gonna we're gonna need a powerhouse of units up here and we're losing gold which is not cool so the first priority is going to be to convert artillery to um, rocket artillery. That's going to be the first priority. All right, so let's just move you here. AT crews. Yeah, see, that's 140, and we're just really hemorrhaging gold, kind of. 14 gold per turn may not seem like a lot when you've got 2,000, but it's hemorrhaging gold to me. <laughs> hemorrhaging gold. But we're going to get a trade route going in a few minutes, and that should take care of that 14 gold, I hope. But the good thing is we were able to catch up to Delhi. Now we're being denounced with Victoria, so no chance of open borders whatsoever with her outside of Casas Belly. Vimba denounces us. And we haven't even gone to war yet. They all think we're a warmonger. Well, the idea is for us to win the game. You guys can give us a hard time all you want to. And they are, I guess, in a way, giving us a hard time because we can't trade. I mean, deals would be terrible if we did. And there is our mechanized unit. Could probably form up with this one here once it reaches it. And this artillery can form up with uh, these other artillery. So let's go ahead and do that too. Gnosis. Maybe pump some culture. How are you doing food-wise? Zero turns still. That's sad. Can we work any tiles here? We clear the jungle. Not sure how good that's going to be. Yeah, having to build the space program is... Let's get a commercial hub. And we'll build it right here on the jungle. It's Is that next to our... Yeah, that's going to be right next to our uh, entertainment district. So that's going to be fine. That'll give us some uh, additional possibilities for trade routes. And in this city, we shall... <laughs> you know what, guys? Should we just make the Great Zimbabwe and get it over with? I think so. Let's just make it and get that over with. It's just been beckoning us this whole game. All right. Could go Armory. Should we make another bomber? Just isn't going to be necessary, I don't think. I think let's just... I thought we had an Acropolis here. We're short people still. Okay. Then we will... Our bombers can't reach India, so no... I don't know if I really want to waste my time with that. So let's just build a power plant. Production will always be a good thing. So, All right. These guys are coming in, and we will upgrade them immediately. See, that's 380. But that's going to be necessary. And we're going to do that. So let's go ahead and move these guys in. Because we need those guys as strong as possible. Okay, so here's our... Trader to Athens, and we have another bomber. We'll just keep we'll just keep the bomber here. Next turn, twenty eight gold. That's because we're making so many units, but we need to make them. One hundred thirty flat gold. 
Mercury, Jade. I think we're going to have to take this deal. Yep, let's do it. It's flat gold, but it'll help us with our upgrades. If we just had one friend, that would be so helpful. All right, so we want to focus on both. Wow, we can't go to Delhi. That'd be a nice route. We want to focus on as much production as we can get. We'll go back to Vimba because that'll give us two production, gold, and a bunch of goodies. That'll help reduce our deficit. And I don't want to get Gandhi too spooked, so we'll just move this one unit. We'll just see what happens if we push up. Hopefully they won't get too excited. Let's just form these guys into a... Well, yeah, they're going to need to be in a core. I don't even know if that general is really going to play much of a role. In five more turns, we'll get another um, artillery or another mechanized unit. All right. Move you in. Sleep. And we'll get these guys in here. We're going to have to upgrade our artillery crew to make them a little bit stronger. Because taking Delhi is going to be brutal. We're going to need all the rocket artillery power we can get. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and form you up before the conversion. I've never tried to convert one with one was less than the other. And we're probably going to need to form up artillery crews as well. So let's see. Yep, we're going to form these two guys up. All right. Next turn. Spain almost forgot all about you. He's been kind of a non-issue this whole game, Spain. Yeah, he's kind of a non-issue. India's making a little bit of a push. He still has a little ways to go in science, but he's getting close. But we'll put a damper on that soon. And let's form up this unit. Shame we can't get you over to uh, the other side where we would really need them, but they'll be here in the interim. All right. Fortify. Move you in. And let's go ahead and form these two up. Should we do it? Yeah, we're going to need to. Matter of fact, we might have to actually pull this guy down here and form him into an army. How many turns is that going to be? Four? Well, three turns. We're going to need it. And then we got two more rocket artillery coming. The war with India is going to be very interesting because I would love to have those units that are back. See, we've got a guy here. He's got an army. Yeah, this war is going to be very interesting. But all we got to do is knock out his space program. We could get like a unit just to make it to that and disrupt it. That would be really good. So we're probably going to make a push, make one of these units make a mad push to that and it's guarded too by this stupid encampment but we're gonna have to make a push to that space and knock it out just to slow him down if nothing else and we're done with techs guys we have completed our tech we look at our science yeah 244 he's catching up of course but yeah it's amazing that we're that far ahead of him in tech right yeah he's got some pretty powerful units. But that's to be expected this late in the game. These guys, we're just going to form them up. We're not going to waste any money on them. So that's rocket artillery. I kind of didn't want to do that, but that's fine. Let's get you in here. And let's go ahead and make an army. 
And we'll upgrade you in a moment. Next turn. And there's our AT crew. We'll form them into an army. We'll probably get... I'll probably upgrade this unit, make him stronger, and have him go straight for the spaceport. And then we'll have these guys run counter. That's going to be interesting going after Delhi. But we can do it. All right, let's go ahead and upgrade you. Yeah, see, that's 500, but very much worth it. And then once we form an army with these guys, I'll upgrade them. And then that'll have to do it. Now we're getting some gold. So you here can make a broadcast center because we'll still keep piping the culture, as I said. We'll still work towards getting that culture. 19 turns until we get the lander. Oh, you know what? We need to build a space part. Yeah, I'm not worried about the... Um... Let's see how many turns it'll take to make the space part. Because culture is still something we could pursue too in our victory as well. So, as you can see here, totally viable. Alright, so he's formed up. So, we'll have him sit here. Oops, my bad. I wanted to upgrade him, didn't I? I still can. Good. Yeah, that's going to be worth it. That's going to be worth it. All right, now we're losing gold again, and that's to be expected. Because as we upgrade, these guys are going to cost more, period. And here is artillery. So let's form an army with them. All right, and probably going to need more firepower. Ten turns for an aerodrome. I might actually do that. Yeah, let's just do that. Let's build an aerodrome. Because if we can get some bombers, oh, and an airport later, that'll be fantastic. All right, so we've got our army rocket artillery, and we'll pair you up with the medic. Medics are always good. Next turn. But we're going to have to be very smart going against India because that is going to be one hell of a battle. One hell of a battle. He can kind of sense that we're coming. Because we're here at the border. But we'll just have to be smart. We have to be sharp. And make sure he doesn't take us out. Failed. Wow. Not good. But he's got that bonus to help him overcome those difficulties. So I'm happy about that. And as backup, we could make a modern... Yeah. I'm going to make modern armor here as a backup. All right, and you're set, so we're just going to leave you here for now. And we're going to form you up with this unit. All right, there's our army. And we're going to get this guy to come down here, and we'll form an army with this unit. And in three more turns, we can form one with this unit. And our spy. Let's go for it. Let's go ahead and go for the siphon again. And this guy, he would have died if we had him back there. We're going to probably move you to Athens. All right, so he's off to Athens. And how are you doing pop-wise? Can we put another person somewhere? Maybe in culture? Nope. Zero food. Alright. Next turn. At least we're positive gold. <laughs> positive gold. We'll get some other trade routes going once we get these uh, commercial hubs over here. Maybe even work a bank down here. She's denouncing us. We're not warmongers. We're just trying to win the game, lady. Give us a break. So 17 more turns for the lander. Or landing. What do we get? Scientists. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Just what we needed. Yep. That should help us knock that piece out right there altogether. Actually, I could have used them up here, but... 
we'll put together what we can put together next turn. Should give us a good boost to this uh, moon landing. I could actually see if we have another part and put him towards that part instead of this. We'll have to see. I mean, if we can knock out the moon landing, that that's fine with me. All right. We're going to change this one out since we have the upgrade, which is right here, plus five production and 10 gold for international trade routes. Although that might help us with our gold. Okay, I'm not concerned about additional great people. I'm looking to see if we have a possibility of more gold. Information error. Okay, so let's go ahead and change this one out from atomic to information age. Yep, we want to do that. That'll help us with what we're building now. And let's confirm that. Yep, let's confirm that. Yep, 25 gold. Excellent. All right, guys. We're running a little bit long in this one, so thanks for all your support. I appreciate you guys hanging through us. We're going to get through this game here very soon. And I will see you in the next game.